Hi there, Mark Costner here from DreamweaverMadeSimple.com. In this short tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to create a basic web page using Dreamweaver. But before we get stuck into actually using Dreamweaver, there's a few other things that we need to do. Step 1. Before you create your actual website in Dreamweaver, you need to decide on an actual layout. And the best way to do this is to spend some time browsing around on the internet and find some sites that you actually like. Keep a pen and paper handy and make notes of what you like and dislike about the various websites. What color combinations do you think work for you? What sort of style works for you? And what sort of layout? Once you've browsed around a bit and got some idea of some layouts that you actually like, it's time for you to create a wireframe. Now a wireframe is basically a block diagram or a skeleton outline of your website. Let me give you an example. Let's say that we decided that our website's going to have a header up the top. And in that header, we're going to have four buttons that we're going to use as a navigation bar. And these buttons may be buttons like Home, Contact Us, Frequently Asked Questions, or whatever else it may be. Next, we've decided that we're going to have the main part of the page as the body, with no extra menus or anything else, just our plain text in there, and any images. And in this case, we've decided we also want a footer, to go at the bottom of the actual page. Now looking at this, it looks pretty uninteresting and certainly not attractive. But that's where the next step comes in. Creating your page graphics. The whole idea here is that you'll create the graphic elements or the pictures that will go into each one of these sections. And once it's complete, you'll have a complete website. Let me give you an example once again. So let's say we've gone off and we've used the software package, something like Photoshop or Fireworks or any other program that you choose to create your graphics in. You'd then create, first of all, your header graphic that would go into the header space. Then you may create a footer graphic that'll fit into the footer area of your website. As you can see, our websites are really beginning to take shape. But we want to add a little bit more style to this particular site. So we're going to put some sidebars on either side of the header. And we're going to put some sidebars on either side of the body, just to give the page a little bit more definition. Then we're going to also add those same sidebars to the footer. And as you can see, by simply creating a few simple graphics, we've now got a complete web page template ready to go. Now that you've created your wireframe and created your page graphics, you're just about ready to get started with Dreamweaver. Stay tuned for our next video, where we're going to show you how to set up Dreamweaver the correct way, and also get started on creating your first web page. Now if you like this tutorial, you can get 15 more tutorials over at dreamweavermadesimple.com, and we've even got a 15 part free tutorial that we're giving away over there. So pop on over to dreamweavermadesimple.com and check out all the Dreamweaver tutorials available there. Look forward to seeing you there and keep your eye open for the next video in the series.